You need a jamming playlist? Check out that YouTube R&B on the rise. Oh my gosh, that playlist is super jamming. It's got a little bit of hip hop. It's got a little bit of blues like type stuff. It has some of that Philly, like the, the, the Philadelphia New Soul stuff. All that is on there, artists you have never heard of before. Yeah, man, 111 songs necessary. Swinging and banging on the ones and twos. Allow me to reintroduce myself to you. I'm Kendra Gavant, your professor of gratitude because every day I slide in here with this gratitude journal and I remind you to write down the stories why you're grateful. That way you'll have less negative thoughts, more positive thoughts. That's why the podcast is called the University of Gratitude Podcast. Get your spiral, get your journals, and you're writing down three stories every single day. You're rocking with me so you can hear the stories, vibe with the stories, and see that the energy is real. Keep it coming, keep it kosher, your boy is here. National Ancestor Day. I'm not talking about Ancestry.com, so do not worry about the commercial. It's National Ancestor Day. And whether it hits home for me or the, on a Tuesday, is when I do my meditations, I do my best to keep my father's mother in my mind. Sometimes I switch it up to my other grandmother, but I do my best to keep my father's mother, the image right there. It was a couple years ago, I had a meditation where I saw her talking to an older man. I just got the feeling that was like her father. My grandmother was talking to maybe her grandfather, asking my pops about that, any type of pictures that he had seen as a kid. That entire conversation went so deep, went so strong. You know I was not tripping on the multiple sclerosis. That took my mind away from all the bullshit for a little while. So y'all take that story on National Ancestry today and you rock with the same thing. This is not about Ancestry.com. When you do your meditations, whenever you're trying to get your energy together, when you're trying to feel better, think about those that came before you. It is National Ancestor Day. Take that and rock and roll with it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna tell y'all three, three cheesy gratitudes. Then I'm gonna tell you two regular gratitudes. First one, that's five total. I know it's Tuesday, it's Tuesday. So number one, I got a new thermos. Now I just broke my best thermos, my best cup that I used to drink out of for everything. Anything hot, cold, I want it in this big rocky looking cup. My wife used to have the cup, but the cup is gone now. Either way, I accidentally broke it. It's, my daughter thought she broke it, but I had been broke the damn cup. So she comes in to apologize, she's trying to fix something. I'm like, no, oh, don't, don't worry about it, homie. I broke that. So when I got this new thermos, See, let, I, I plan on using that today on the Tuesday and see how that mug roll with it. What I'm especially curious about is that the thermos has one of those built-in straws. I don't know how that's going to work with what I do, but we're going to find out. I sure needed a new thermos. Now I got one, so I'm going to slide into this Tuesday and get this shit knocked off. Gratitude number two. I got a new notebook. A little small notebook, a little black notebook. What's weird about it is that the damn thing has black pages. I don't exactly know how to write in it. It's not like it came with a notebook with a white, it's not the black notebook on with black pages. It came with a damn me white pen to write with. I just had to get it because it's black and it had black pages. So the fact that I have this notebook, what I want to do, of course, is write a little gratitude in it, keep some stuff in it. There's no way I could do my dog on, um, I cannot do my manifestations in that little black journal. No, number one, I, I can't, I can't, I don't know how to, I don't know what to write in it. And then number two, what to write with. And then number two, shoot, man, when I say small, that mug is like this small, like it is small. It's like less than a hand It's like about the size of my hand. I don't, I don't, I don't write that small, man. I really don't. So I can't use it for anything except the fact that it's there and it's going to be there to write down the gratitude that pop off throughout the day. Keep it right there beside the bed. Gratitude number three. I got a, I have a key finder. It, it came as a, as a free gift. You know the little key finder that you can actually put on the keys and everything in case you lose your, your key ring. 
I know, man. I know I'm disabled. I'm I'm part of the squad. It ain't like I'm driving and going to damn place. I don't have key. I don't even use the key ring anymore. What I do is that I took it and I put it inside my Bob Marley bag so I can see and know it when I cannot see where the Bob Marley bag is. Whenever I'm looking for it, never get ready to roll out. Now I can just hit that button and know exactly where that mug is. It's usually either underneath the bed, underneath the cabinet, or in the closet. So it's not like I go that many places. But it's still cool and it does work. So whenever we get ready to go, press that button and do 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 do. There goes my Bob Marley bag. Now I'm ready to roll out. Better get your boy out the house a whole lot easier. Gratitude number four. Number four. I got this. I got this. This is my blue black cell phone bag that we got in Ecuador. I think it is in Ecuador. I got this in Belize. And the reason why I'm grateful for this is because I got to use my hands to touch and hold every single wall whenever I walk. So getting from the door to even out here to do videos, my daughter brought everything and set all this stuff up for me. She's like, Daddy, where's the cell phone at? In my bag, underneath my arm, I'm good to go. I got the cell phone. So, and I can't do this shit without the bag. That's what you call an easy gratitude. I had this one every single day. I gotta tell you the story about it, and boom, I got one. Last gratitude, man. My daughter is supposed to come out here and sweep up all this damn dog food that's, that's been spilled as they do the stuff with the damn me dog. If she does that, It'll get a whole lot better smelling, man, because it's amazing how much stronger than everything else the dog food is. It makes your stomach turn and everything a little bit. So I'm grateful that she will come out here and get this spot swept so I can chill and do stuff just a little bit longer. Yeah, man, there you go, five gratitudes. Y'all be pretty, stay grateful. You know I salute you, I appreciate you for rocking with me. I'm out. It is time to stop waiting on somebody else to teach you, to make you, to motivate you, to inspire you to be a better person. You can do it yourself by picking up a gratitude journal and writing down why you're grateful every single day. That will cost you nothing. There's no complaining about prices. There's no complaining about who's available. There's no complaining about if they are compatible with you. Get yourself a gratitude journal. Start writing this stuff out. Take the steps to be better. You.